Hello world, and welcome to Vancouver International Airport. YVR has a total of 9 lounges with 3 in the domestic area, 4 in the international area, and 2 in the transborder area. I'll be showing off the 2 lounges located in the US transporter side. The Plaza Premium Lounge is a paid service lounge where you can get in either by paying as a card benefit or via business class on WestJet. Depending on the time of day, this lounge can get quite crowded. Unfortunately, the only V available was that facing the International Arrivals and Immigration Hall. The interior is great with these mix of green and wood, giving the space some vibrance. You have a relatively small open dining and bar area. Food selection was limited, serving continental breakfast in mornings and whatever the heck these are for lunch. This lounge also has a shower, which is a paid add-on. The washroom itself is quite big. You get your basic shower essentials like towels and soap. But this shower was great for it had a missing knob. So um, how do I open this? Okay, the kind people got me another shower suite, this one being for handicapped people. It's bigger than the regular ones, but still offers the same amenities. Overall, the food is good and the space is nice. It definitely feels like a co-working space rather than a lounge, but the vibe is great. It would be better though if they could expand the space more as it can get quite crowded. On the other side, the Air Canada Maple Leaf Lounge is a private lounge with specific entry requirements. For a majority of the cases, you either need to be flying in business or first class in Air Canada or United, or if you have Star Alliance Gold status with another airline. This lounge has a massive open area space with lots of seats. You get a self-service bar and limited but healthier food. There's even a small private room for all the people who actually do business here. It definitely feels roomier and relaxed than the Plaza Premium Lounge. You also get better views where you actually get to see the outside world. Other than that, there isn't much offered in this lounge. It gets the job done with free food and a place to sit. Personally, I would prefer going to the Plaza Premium Lounge as it felt more vibrant there. What do you think of the two lounges? Leave a comment below. I'm curious to see which of these two do you prefer. Thanks for watching and have a great day.